all right guys so we got some crazy rumors going around right now and normally when i get like when i start hearing these rumors or rumors of in general right i start to kind of look around and make sure that um the people that normally i follow and trust for these rumors and to see if they start bringing it up and normally when all the people that i kind of like just follow on twitch uh not twitch uh twitter and on youtube is if they all start talking about this thing it just it's like a little light bulb just goes off in my head and i'm like wait a minute what's going on here man what's going on here this is crazy because last time stuff like this happened it was talking about the uh, multiverse of madness and how there was going to be reed richards in it and that was like a hell mary but the fact how the there was so many people saying that he was going to show up Though, keep in mind, people were saying they were going to Iron Man, the superior Iron Man was going to show up as Tom Cruise. But so make sure you guys take this with a grain of salt. But this is some crazy rumor and it means it's talking about the MCU. But if you look at the track record for Marvel Future Revolution, you can tell that there are following when the movie releases. So Thor Love and Thunder is coming out, what, next week? And Thor Love and Thunder update is about to hit next week. So as you can see that and going on in the future, if you follow that plan towards the future, I'm looking at what's going to be coming out for as a movie, when the movies are going to come out, the shows, and, and, and it doesn't necessarily mean a playable hero. No, most likely... The 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 person I want to be talking about here is going to probably be companion, but this opens the door for something even better. So obviously I am talking about the first member of the Fantastic Four officially showing up in the She-Hulk. She-Hulk. It sounds like I'm saying it wrong, right? She-Hulk show that is going to be coming in uh, Disney Plus later this year. Now. Let's pull up this this uh, article here, which states that a wild She-Hulk rumor says Fantastic Four's Thing debuts on the Disney Plus show. A new rumor claims that Ben Grimm, the Thing of the Fantastic Four, will make his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut as the She-Hulk. Now, as you guys can see, the guy that's going to be playing is the guy from How I Met Your Mother, which obviously I'm pretty sure he's not going to... Uh, uh, look like that he's probably going to be looking like the thing the whole time but the voice and he's probably gonna have mocap or whatever it's called but um it is uh pretty interesting to think that i never expected he was gonna play it but i kind of see it that obviously they can don't he won't even look like uh, himself but i'm pretty sure he'll he'll bring like some comedy com com comedy to <laughs> comedy to the character uh, I, I don't know if I can ever see him as a serious person because the thing is more like a serious guy. But uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to bring a little... Uh, he's going to touch it up. Uh, do it. In, uh, try to keep it to the original as the comics. But I'm pretty sure he's going to throw in a little some uh, some funny little lines here and there. Knowing that, knowing the actor, he's, uh, uh, he's known to be doing stuff like that. So while the series first trailer showed the Marvel Cinematic Universe debut of Frogman... <laughs> A new rumor claims another more prominent character may show up on Disney Plus, the She-Hulk, in the form of Ben Grimm slash the thing of the Fantastic Four. A post from 4chan, which was shared on Reddit, claimed that the thing will appear in She-Hulk's final three episodes, starting with episode eight. That's more. He'll reportedly be played by actor Jason Siegel, How I Met Your Mother, via a motion capture suit. Allegedly, the character was originally meant to debut in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, there was some rumors of somebody in Spider-Man No Way Home in a full motion cap suit that never made it into the movie. So that person could be the thing since now this is telling us that the thing was supposed to be uh, appearing for the first time in Spider-Man No Way Home. And of course, if he did, it would have been a guy in a fully mocap suit so from that it continues to say that the post further stated the thing will be fighting a defamation case 
do battle with the supervillain team, the Wrecking Crew, and share screen time with the She-Hulk and Daredevil. So Daredevil will also be making a stop by in She-Hulk. So whose own appearance in the series has long been rumored. So it's been oh it's been rumored from a while that Daredevil would appear in She-Hulk, but it kind of died down. And it, it, it still could be true. It still could be true. It could be not, but if this ends up being true, we're talking about She-Hulk might be a little bit better than what we expected because we're getting a, sh a show with She-Hulk, the Hulk, the Thing, Daredevil. Who am I, who else am I missing? Oh, the Abomination, which we saw in the trailer. Okay. <laughs> now it continues to say She-Hulk is not the first Marvel Cinematic Universe project to have rumored appearance from a member of the Fantastic Four. It had been reported last year that the Thing's teammate, Mr. Fantastic, would appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, a claim that turned out to be true as John Krasinski brought the character to life in the movie this year. As for other Marvel heroes appearing in the show, an earlier rumor claimed Jessica Jones star Kristen Ritter was in talks to reprise the role for it, though this may have been disapproved by the She-Hulk leak. So aside from possible appearances from other heroes, She-Hulk will also see the return of Tim Roth as the Abomination from the 2008's The Incredible Hulk regarding his return to the franchise, Roth stated earlier this year that it has surprised him, adding, I want into the chat, Kevin Foggy, and he said, I got an idea. Come in. Really? It's because the original that I did, I did it. The first Incredible Hulk movie was I just did it for my kids. But it goes on to say down here, Roth will be joined by MCU Hulk actor Mark Ruffalo, who purely discussed passing the torch. As he jokingly, anyways, basically, it just keeps going on to talk about uh, the movie. But the main point of this is the fact that you can go ahead and say that Mr. Fantastic appearing in Multiverse of Madness can, you know, it could just be they, they could have done. They could have brought anybody in there. It doesn't mean it's going to be in the MCU. Right. Obviously, it's, you know, in the movie, but in that universe, they were in a different universe. This is important because this is the universe that we're in and we're going to get the first fantastic four. Now, why is this such a, uh, a big deal or why am I trying to, why am I making it such a big deal? The reason why it gets getting me excited is not for the thing because the chances of the thing being a playable character is super low. Guaranteed. This guy's probably going to be a companion. We're probably going to get she Hulk as a companion. The Abomination as a companion, if they, you know, uh, we already got Daredevil as a companion and then uh, the thing would be as a companion. What's getting me excited here is the fact that we're going to get this year the first member of Fantastic Four, which means that they're setting up the foundation for the Fantastic Four and meaning that uh, we will get eventually one member from the Fantastic Four as a playable character. And I'm leaning a little bit on the torch, the human torch. Like, I think he would make the most sense. I think uh, Reed Richards stretching. I don't know how they will make that work. How would it be benefit? And when PVP, how would that? I don't know. Um, the human torch or invincible girl. Those are the only two. Uh, I guess you can surprise me with the thing and throw them in there. But uh, I'm, 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 you're going to get a lot of people saying, like, why not the Hulk? Why? How come the Hulk never got in there? Um, and, and that's the thing that's really getting me excited because because now we know in the MCU well, it's not official yet, but I'm really feeling good about this one. But as always, take this with a grain of salt, guys. Take this with a grain of salt because I am... As we can see how Marvel Future Revolution is kind of following that path and we and we're still kind of just studying how if the next playable character is based off the movie that's out at that time, then we can feel more comfortable saying, oh, it's probably whatever movies around that time is probably there's somebody going to be, you know, whatever that movie is, it's going to be the playable character, the new playable character. But it, we just don't have that much information yet. But just seeing stuff like this, it really gets me, you know, I have, like always, my expectations low. 
it, they don't get as high as they used to, man. They don't get as high as you. That's why I'm just saying they're going to be a companion, man. <laughs> they're probably going to be a companion. And, uh, and for year number two, MFR year number two, we could see uh, Marvel Fe uh, a Fantastic Four member joining the the likes of, you know, joining as one of the new playable characters in MFR. And it makes it makes total sense. It makes total sense because they are building a game where you have some from Avengers, some from the X-Men, and then you're going to want some from, you know, another group. So just like, you know, Fantastic Four, which Danny Koo did mention in an old interview that that was their idea for, you know, MFR, which they wanted a game and they wanted, you know, to have a mix of different uh, eight playable characters from just a variety of different groups. And then he, one of the groups that he named off was Fantastic Four. So that is a big sign because we, we're going to get him in technically, I don't know, in the MCU, Scarlet Witch is considered a mutant. Um, but uh, even though we got we saw Mr. Uh, Ex Professor Xavier in Multiverse of Madness, I was in another universe. They still yet to show up in this universe, unless I'm forgetting something. But uh, if we were, if we got like uh, X Men to show up soon, you know, then I would be like, man, we might get, you know, we, this is this is a really good sign. I was thinking we were gonna get an X Men before, you know, Fantastic Four, but uh, this is just opening up the door for. You know, a potential Fantastic Four playable character for season number two, which is year number two of uh, MFR. I don't know, man. You let me know. This this video went way longer than I expected. I didn't expect it to be this long, but man, let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, leave a like down in the comment below. Like, subscribe if you're not subscribed for more content updates and anything Marvel. And then I'm also going to be doing more the other, uh, doing the mother more Marvel games, but... I'll see you guys next time, all right? You guys take care.